Today, we're playing a really fun game where I guess the sounds I hear. Do you want to play this game with me? Great. Let's listen and guess what we hear. You ready? Oh, that's a fun sound. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a train. Great job. Let's listen again. What do you hear this time? Yes, it's a car horn. This is so much fun. Here comes another sound. Can you guess what this one is? A bird. Okay, this next one might be a little tricky. Let's try it. Okay. I hear this sound outside. It makes my kite fly. Can you guess what it is? You're right, it's the wind. Okay, one more. I love this game. Oh, I know this one. It's one of my favorite things. I love to look at it in the sky. Can you guess what it is? It's an airplane. I love airplanes. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Making airplane sounds, are you? Hi, Ollie. We're listening to different sounds so we can try and figure out what we hear. Listening can be fun. It's true. I know someone who does lots of listening, too. Listen up. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through. Friends, 
I'm so happy to be with you today. I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today I made the coolest cupcakes. Do you want to see? Ta-da! <laughs> These are my wavy water cupcakes. They look like water and that reminds me of our Bible story today. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Hagar and her son Ishmael. Can you say Ishmael with me? Ishmael. <laughs> Hagar and Ishmael were in a desert. This desert was really hot and dry, and Hagar and Ishmael did not have any water to drink. Hagar and her son Ishmael were very tired and hot. What do you need when you are tired and hot? That's right, you need something to drink. Can you pretend to take a drink of water with me? Good job! Hagar and Ishmael were very thirsty. Let's look around and see if there is any water around. Look with me like this. They didn't see any water. Hagar began to cry and her son began to cry too. But God was with Hagar and Ishmael. God sent an angel to tell Hagar, God has heard the boy crying. Right then, God helped Hagar see a well of water. Hagar jumped up and filled a bottle with water and quickly gave Ishmael some water to drink. And Ishmael wasn't thirsty anymore. <laughs> Yay, let's celebrate. God heard Hagar and Ishmael because God was always with them. God hears you because God is always with you too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God is always with you, and he hears you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God heard Hagar and Ishmael because God was always with them. God is always with me too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. We heard a lot of great sounds while playing this game. I'm so glad God hears you and God hears me. See you next time. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9.